Meenakshi Thapa, born on October 4, 1984, died April 19, 2012. In April 2012, during the filming of Heroin, Thapa, a 24-year-old resident of Dehradun, had come to Mumbai in December 2011 to make a career in films. Meenakshi Thapa, who dreamt of making it big in the film industry, unfortunately met death at the age of 26. She was staying in Dehradun and worked as a dance teacher. Though Meenakshi had a diploma in aviation and was always interested in dancing, Meenakshi, who was around 24 years of age, came to Mumbai in search of a job in December 2011. She appeared in several films, including the Kareena Kapoor star heroine heroine in 2012. She settled in Mumbai to pursue her dreams of becoming a heroine. And her fate was ironic enough, when she befriended two persons, Amit and Preeti, on the sets of Madhur Bandarkar's heroine. Under the impression that the aspiring actress belonged to a rich family, the duo hatched a conspiracy to abduct her and demand a ransom. Amit and Preeti took Meenakshi to Uttar Pradesh on the pretext of work. The duo took Meenakshi to Allahabad, convincing her that she had a shoot there. But duo had planned to abduct her after promising her an acting assignment. On March 13, 2012, Meenakshi called her mother and said she was traveling with Jaiswal and Sorin to Uttar Pradesh by Kamayani Express. After she reached Allahabad, Meenakshi called her mother again and informed her that she was going to Sorin's home. From March 15 onwards, Meenakshi could not be contacted. Her phone as well as those of Jaiswal and Sorin were switched off, Meenakshi's mother said. Two days later, on March 17, Meenakshi's mother received a text message from an unknown number saying that if she wanted to see her daughter safe, she should pay 1.5 million rupees within three days. The message also threatened that if she informed the police, an obscene video of her daughter would be uploaded on the internet and would be circulated in her hometown, Dehradun. The actor's mother then went to a police station in Dehradun and lodged a complaint. She also informed her son, who was posted in the army in Jammu and Kashmir. Meenakshi's brother and her friend Alok Verma then filed a missing persons complaint at Amboli police station in Mumbai. Verma had dropped Meenakshi at Lakmania Tilak Terminus railway station in March and had seen the two accused with her. Amit, a married man with two kids from Allahabad, met Preeti, and they fell in love, so much so that they wanted to get married. But since Amit did not earn much, Preeti's family refused. Soon after the couple fled, the kidnappers contacted the Thapa family. They told the family to pay. She was held for a ransom of 1.5 million Indian rupee equals 17,991.40 in United States dollar this year 2024. And if they couldn't pay up, the kidnappers warned, they would force Meenakshi to make a pornographic film. Her mother paid 60,000 Indian rupee equals 719,000.68 in United States dollar this year 2024. When the Meenakshi family couldn't pay in full, Thapa's captors decided to end the hostage situation once and for all, according to the Telegraph. Meenakshi was later strangled and decapitated in a hotel in Garakpur. Bollywood actress Meenakshi Thapa's headless body was found in an Allahabad. The two disposed of her body in a septic tank in the Darbanga colony area of the city, and the severed head in the Vinjasani area on the Allahabad Varanasi Highway. They threw her severed head while going from Lucknow to Jaunpur. Jaiswal and Sorin concealed her head in a bag and carried the severed head along with them to Lucknow, where Jaiswal hid the knife and throwing her decapitated head in a bag from a bus window on the road back to Mumbai. They returned to Mumbai from Allahabad by bus. A police officer investigating the case told India Today. The idea to sever the head and carry it along was that they did not want anyone to identify her body. They thought if they disposed of the bag and her hacked head in a different spot en route to Mumbai, they would be destroying the trace of the murder. Her body was found inside a water tank and could be identified only through some burn injury marks and forensic tests, including a DNA test. According to advocate Nikum, after the abduction, Jaiswal and Sunrin withdrew 46 000 rupees from Ms. Thapa's bank account by using her debit card. Special Public Prosecutor Eugel Nikum examined 35 witnesses in the case, 
key among them being members of Meenakshi's family. One of the most important witnesses was the accused Sarin's father, who had seen the three together in Allahabad. Other witnesses included Sarin's father, who deposed that Surin had brought Meenakshi to their Allahabad home in March 2012. Sarin's cousin also deposed that a woman, who looked like a heroine, had come with Surin. Later, Special Public Prosecutor Ujwal Nikam represented the police before the trial court and examined 36 witnesses, including Meenakshi's mother, sister-in-law, brother, Verma, and other friends. On April 14, 2012, Investigating Officer Ashok Saint received information that Jaiswal and Surin would visit the Axis Bank ATM near Bandra Station. The police set up a trap and the accused were apprehended. Though they had done away with all the evidence, Meenakshi's SIM card was allegedly still in their possession and this helped the police trace their location. The accused admitted to using Meenakshi's SIM card to send messages to her mother after which they were arrested, the police said. On May 10, 2018, Sessions Judge S.G. Sheik convicted Jaiswal and Surin and sentenced them to life imprisonment. The Bombay High Court rejected Jaiswal's bail plea in August 2018. The appeals filed by the duo against their conviction are pending before the High Court. A Mumbai Sessions Court awarded life imprisonment to two persons in the 2012 murder case of budding actor Meenakshi Thapa. Additional sessions Judge S.G. Shet awarded the sentence to 41-year-old Amit Jaiswal and his girlfriend Preeti Surin, 32. The court had convicted them on Wednesday under IPC sections 302 murder and 364 kidnapping for ransom. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless.